your drone will probably need a license plate soon. The Federal Aviation Administration has proposed using remote identification for unmanned aircraft systems, or drones, in the U.S. The agency proposes that drones in U.S. airspace would have to meet one of three remote identification requirements, the standard remote identification, limited remote identification, or those without any remote identification. CNBC reports the system would allow the government to track drones across the country and could also make it possible for third parties to track the vehicles as well. The agency says that the remote ID of drones is necessary to ensure public safety and the safety and efficiency of the airspace of the United States. A standard remote identification drone includes equipment that is able to connect to the Internet and transmit remote identification messages to a remote ID unmanned service supplier, as well as broadcast these messages directly while in the sky. A limited remote identification drone is an unmanned vehicle that is capable of connecting to the Internet and transmitting remote identification messages to a remote ID USS, though it is unable to broadcast these messages directly. This type of drone is restricted in operating higher than 400 feet from its control station. According to an unpublished proposal by the FAA, the remote ID USS would be required to have the ability to share these messages in near real-time with the FAA and secure access to such information. Drones such as amateur-built vehicles and previously manufactured aerial vehicles that may not have remote identification capabilities would be required to fly within the visual line of sight and only in FAA-recognized identification areas. The FAA states in the proposal that all drones in U.S. airspace would be required to comply with the new regulations within three years. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.